Oh, I wish I could stay with you all morning, but I'm gonna go see your daddy in the hospital. I'm sorry, I woke you up. I'm sorry. Go back to sleep. Shh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Do you need anything while I'm out? Some diapers or formula or anything? No, your brother took care of all that yesterday. Oh, did you hear that, sweetheart? Your Uncle Sammy's looking out for you. Because he loves you as much as I do. You know that? Shh, go back to sleep. It's okay. What's the word from Baby Central? Uh, Twelve hours of labor and counting. Oh, yeah. Twelve. So Rick is in there with Mel now. Uh, Billy and Buzz were here keeping me company till 2 a.m. Then I sent them home. Uh, Remy and Felicia took a break there at the airport meeting Clayton. That's okay, it. and so is Mel closer? She's fully effaced, uh, eight centimeters dilated. Last I heard, contractions were three minutes apart. Ooh, okay. That is close. I can't handle that, Carmen. Okay. Part of the conversation. Can we go down and then get you uh, some breakfast to go with oh, your coffee? Oh, please. All he wants to do is just, you know, hand out some more Santos uh, for Mayor what? buttons that in the cafeteria. That is completely <laughs> not true. The thought never crossed my mind, but now that you've mentioned it, the election's only a couple days yeah, yeah. away. Right. <laughs> Why not? I need all the votes I can get. Who's this? That's oh, Bill. I gotta take this. Excuse me. So, you okay? Yeah. You know, I just keep thinking about all the things that Rick and Mel have gone through the last couple of years, you know, surviving the heart transplant, thinking that they were going to have difficulty conceiving. I mean, by all rights, we shouldn't even be standing here. Yeah, this baby is definitely a miracle. And it's about time that you're here to see one of your grandchildren born. I'm feeling very lucky. Yeah. After everything, you know. Let's hope we can pass some of that luck Mars way, because uh, she really needs it right now. I'm worried about her. Well, like we said, we were blessed. Maybe she's next on the list. Banquo, Master of Illusion. Do you have the chops to make a woman vanish and reappear? Does Carrie know your tricks? Okay, Harley, I guess uh, we're going in and we're gonna find out, aren't we? Right. Other magicians ask me how I do it. The answer is simple. Keep your hands on the table at all times. 
Let them see the hat, let them see the rabbit, let them believe they are one step ahead of you, and then make the table disappear. In other words, astonish them. And remember, the greatest trick of all is resurrection. <laughs> Someone ripped out the entire chapter. If you don't want to hurt Mara, then why did you bring us here? I know, Marianne. You died way too young. And I wish I could turn back the clock and take back that awful night, but... Stay here. Mara's fault. She didn't have a choice. Your aunt was going to kill my husband. Your aunt Carrie. I'm sorry she's dead, but what? What is it? What are you trying to tell me? I don't understand. Um, yeah, I must have fallen asleep on the couch reading. Um, I had the most bizarre dream. All right, you're gonna have to tell me about it another time, though, because I just found some really solid evidence that's gonna help Mara's case. How soon can you get to the funhouse? I am on my way. Oh, hello, Mara. Sandy. Mr. Marlar. I, I found her at home alone, and she was all upset, and... Josh and Reva weren't there. I thought maybe you could help out. Oh, yeah. You brought her to the right place. Come on, Mara, let's sit down. It's too much, Ross. The press, the phone calls, this, that. People are calling up and making stupid comments and hanging up. Oh, yes, I know. People can be cruel. And the one person who could help me won't. And that person would be Jeffrey O'Neill? I don't know how I'm going to get through this without you doing great. Yeah, your contraction. Oh, God. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I'm going to touch you. The contractions are coming sooner now, okay? Yeah, no kidding. Oh, you're doing great. Then this one should just be in about a minute oh, or so. You're just beautifully now. Awesome. You're doing beautiful. Awesome. Oh, no. Oh, no. What was that? Is that another contraction? Just breathe. Yeah. No, it's, it's too okay. soon. Just breathe. It's too Rick, soon. It's okay. Everything's going fine. Just no. breathe. Okay, I'll uh, go in. I need to take over just a minute. What are you talking about? Where are you going? I'm sorry, Honey, I'll be right back. No, no, feeling I'm like feeling like it. I'm feeling fine. Just to get I'll kill you. I'll kill you, jerk. I no. I'll be right Come back. on, please. <gasps> One and two and three. I'm right here. One and two and three and four. The baby. Yeah, the baby's coming right now. <gasps> what are you doing out here? Okay, something's not right in there, Dad. Something. I mean, something's missing, and I, I need you to be in there. You need me, Dad. I. I just want you to be with me. I'm there. Good luck. It is. It's happening. Now. Oh, oh great. very soon there's going to be a little bower in this world oh, again. Great. That's the last thing we um. need. Oh, come on. <laughs> if this baby is anything like you, the world is going to be a much better place. Hmm. So how's your phone call with Bill? Oh, I'm still trailing Ross in the polls, but not by much. Oh. Not by much. So we'll see. Yeah. There they are. Hey, it's hey. about time. It's yeah. happening. Melissa's having the baby right now. She's right having now. the baby now. Does she yes. change her mind and go for the meds? No, she's going 100 percent naturally. Oh man. Oh, if it was me, I'd say bring on the drugs. Oh. <laughs> Give me the biggest shot you got. Well, that's further proof of why we women are indeed the stronger sex. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Finally, now that Olivia's out of here, I can figure out what it is she's hiding. But I can't see anything from here. I, I don't want a shot. I've never felt better. What you're feeling is false euphoria, Philip. It's the result of your being off your medication. It won't last. Maybe it will. You don't know. I do know. 
Look, if you just start taking your pills again, we wouldn't need the shot. But if you insist on hiding them... I'm not hiding them! Philip, can you prove it? No, I can't. I had a nurse in here for a good half hour yesterday, searching your room while you were on a walk around the grounds. She came up empty-handed. <laughs> Most patients, when they hide their meds, stuff them under their mattress or under the rug. But I guess you're too, you're too clever for that. Or maybe you're wrong. Not, Have you ever thought of that? Not according to your blood work. Well, maybe it's wrong. I'm telling you, I, I, I've been a good little patient because I want to get better. Okay? I know someone who doesn't share that desire. I know someone who would like to probably see me locked up in here forever. Is something wrong? I was just telling Dr. Langham that somebody around here would like to keep me locked up as a prisoner in this hospital forever like to keep me doped up on drugs so that I can't think straight. And I think we both know who that is. We do? You. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because as long as you got a Spalding locked up in here, paying through the nose, you're set for life, aren't you, Doc? Philip is still refusing to take his medications. I'm taking them! I keep trying to, he thinks I'm hiding them, but he, he can't find them anywhere. He had a nurse come in here and look under the mattress. She couldn't find them. Nobody can find them. <sighs> wow, well, you may have just made this a whole lot easier for me. Philip, we drew blood. There were no drugs in your system. Blood tests don't lie. Maybe not, but people do. Okay, look. Let's say that I'm wrong and you're right, and you have been taking your pills. Thank you. Then what do you care if we switch to hypodermics? It's, it's the same medicine, it's just a different delivery system. I, I hate needles. You know how much I hate needles. Philip, when you first came here, I gave you lots of shots, and you didn't complain then. Well, g yeah, sure you did, because I was not, I, I couldn't protest because I was too out of it then, but now I'm coherent again. Would you please tell him how much I hate needles? I know you're not going to go against me on this. I know, I know that you wouldn't deliberately try to undermine me when I need you so much, would you? Oh, oh Christopher, I mean, come on. It's, it's, what are we talking about, a day or two? Can't we just go off the meds for a day or two and, and, to, and see how he does? Oh, let's see. Boy, did, did I marry a winner. What a, what a lucky, lucky guy I am to have married such a loyal wife. Mm. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if I could just walk right in? Now, don't you forget. I'm here to guide you through this mess. More importantly, I'm here to get you through it quickly. And since you now have decided to play by the rules, I don't know, let's call them my rules. I don't think we're gonna have any little more surprises, are we? I'll try to be good. Good. So many people are supporting you. Your parents and your brother and your other brother and all your friends. I'm tired of being such a burden to them. Mara, you are not. What you are is a brave young woman who saved her father's life. And very soon, everyone will understand that. My dad. You know, all these past few months, I've just been trying to help him, and I keep making things worse. Your dad will be fine. At least it will once this is over. Both of my parents, when I look in their faces, just so much pain. Well, there's nothing worse for a parent than knowing that their child is in trouble and yet they're unable to fix any of it. I know that feeling firsthand, and that makes me even more determined to get you out of this. And I can hardly wait for the day when a real smile lights up that beautiful face, because seeing that will pretty much cover my fee. Can you be my lawyer, too? <laughs> I said pretty much. Ross, I just thought about something. 
you might become mayor pretty soon. Does that mean I'll have to get a new lawyer? Because I don't think that I can deal with that. Shouldn't be much longer. Can't tell you how long I've waited for this day yeah. and dreaded it. Why? What do you mean? You don't, you don't want to be a grandfather? I can't wait to be a grandfather. I just wish they could call it something else. I mean, no matter how you say it, grandpa, granddad, right. pops, it just all sounds so old. old. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we well, just got to come up with, with a different title, something that works better for you. You know, like king or, or wise one or my personal favorite, lord and master. Danny, have I told you that you're getting my vote? <laughs> I'll take it. Hey. Hey. I haven't heard Mel scream in a while. I don't know if that's good or bad. Oh, she's doing great, I'm sure. Mel is the most determined, strongest woman I know. The way she stood, you know, by Rick through his illness was just amazing. Mm -hmm. And then to top it off, she goes and gets a law degree on top of being a doctor. Oh. Mm. My baby is pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. Rick is amazing, too. Mm -hmm. The way he supports her. Not to mention to put up with that girl's stubbornness, which she gets from her father, of course, not me. Oh, I know. Robbie, all of his negative traits come from his father. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I cannot wait to hold my first grandchild in my arms. I know. Oh. Oh. That's good. Huh? You're doing good. I can't yes, you can. Yes, you can. You can. You can. Oh, God. Do it. Okay. okay, Mel, on the count of three, I want you to push with all your okay, might. Come on. All right. One, Here we go. Here we go. two, three. Please. Now push. push. Good oh, girl. Come on. Keep pushing. Keep pushing, Good. honey. Keep it's pushing. It's grabbing. I see the baby. You're doing great. You're good. doing great. Oh, I have to stop. Oh, pushing. Oh, oh, pushing. Oh, oh, take another breath and push again. Come on. Here we go. Doing great. Come on. There you go. You're going to do it. Good girl. Push. Good yes. girl. Oh, oh, you got it. You did it. You did it. You did it, honey. You did it. Oh, yes. You've got it. Beautiful baby girl. Oh. Oh. Beautiful baby girl. She's so crazy. Oh, she Everything is perfect. Here comes your daddy. Here comes your daddy, baby. She's beautiful. Oh my God. Look at oh you. Oh my God. She's beautiful. Ten fingers and ten toes. Oh. Oh. written by the vanishing Vanquo. The illusionist. Carrie read it too. She tore out a whole chapter. Fortunately, I was able to find the same information in these pages that I took from Vanquo's trunk, and then I pieced the whole thing together. So? So, Carrie read the book, she learned his tricks, and she used them the night of the shooting. The mirrors, and the, the sound, and the lights, and everything to make it look like she was in a thousand places at once. That was just the beginning. The illusion went way beyond that. Okay, but what does Carrie knowing a few magic tricks have to do with getting Mara off the hook? Well, Mara can't be charged with murder if the victim isn't dead. What are you saying? Vanquo called it the ultimate trick. Resurrection. So you think our suspicions are right, that Carrie's alive? I mean, I want to believe that more than anyone, but how could that be possible? According to Venquo, anything is possible. Sound. Oh my god. Just like Carrie. She's alive and I know how she did it. Well, you scared me half to death. Well, I'm sorry, but seeing is believing, right? Or in this case, not seeing is believing. See, Carrie wanted everybody to believe that she died, but she didn't. That's why the cops never found her body. She's shown them the hat and the rabbit, and then she makes the table disappear. Come again? It's it's from Vanquo's book. Look, look. Like all great magicians, he used illusion, he used distraction, you know? He gets you to look over here so he can get you to draw the conclusion that he wants. The wrong one. But that night, how? That how night, I... all Carrie had to do was provoke those people enough that she would get shot in self-defense, and she made sure she was standing by this trap door when it happened. The same trap door that Vanquo used hundreds of times in his ultimate trick, resurrection. 
And then she just flipped the button and dropped herself in. Okay. Voila, like okay. I did. I can, I can believe that, but... But still, when she fell through, I mean, the river, the water. No, no, no. Now, take a look at this. You see that? What? Right over there. See, the police didn't see it either. It's so well hidden. It's a trap door. You slide it over, and then you're able to slip into it. Like you just did. Exactly. It starts out as a chute, and then it becomes a tunnel, and then you're able to get down and lead your way back in through that entrance. Or there's other tunnels down the, there. That the lead tunnels, all, all the, the tunnels that are under the uh, under town. I mean, that, so that's how she did it. She was able to, wounded and all, get out of here and escape. Reva, she's alive. I know it. Oh, my God. What? Of course she's alive. It's just like my dream. Guys, it's a girl. It's a baby girl. Oh, a beautiful baby girl. Oh, baby. How's <laughs> Mel? How's Mel? Oh, she's yeah, great. She looks great. Really um, do you have a name? Oh, wait a minute. Come time on. out. Time, time, time out. Oh, we're excited. I know you're all excited. Yeah. And, and we want some answers now. I will, but my wife really needs me right now, so I have all the information with names and numbers on there, and okay. um, I'll, I'll see you in a little bit. Okay. Okay. Yeah. How's that doing? He's the proudest grandfather you ever seen. No, no, I'll fight him for that title. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, for you. After 12 and a half hours of intensive labor, the most beautiful, brilliant, perfect little girl God ever created has just been born to her proud parents, Doctors Mel and Rick Bauer. <laughs> okay, wait. Number two. Our little bundle of joy weighs seven pounds, nine ounces. Right, has the full complement of fingers and toes, and thankfully looks exactly like her mother. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Three. Through an entire night, she managed to exhaust her mother and worry her father, which has only prepared them for the years to come. <laughs> She's only been in the world for a few minutes, and has already changed her for the better. Forever. And lastly, no, she does not have a name yet. No. But her parents are open to suggestions. Oh, well, well they're trouble now because... I think Emily is nice. No, Emily's not. Nice. Gertrude. Gertrude. That was my grandmother's no. name. Oh, my oh, grandmother's name was Clara. I'm the best nice Oh, girl. it's too old fashioned. What about Jade? Hey, so Jade is good, Jade. right? Jade. 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 Oh, wait, no, no, good. Zeta. Like Meta. Zeta. 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 Could we just a day or two? I mean, no, I'm afraid we can't. But I feel fine. I've told you, Philip, it's euphoria and it won't last. So you keep saying. Olivia, we have to get him back on his medication so that we can monitor his progress and cut down his dosage gradually no, the right way. No, 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 no. See, he wants to turn me into a zombie. Now, honey, that's not what you want, is it? A day or two. Every day we wait could spell trouble. Christopher's your doctor, honey. No. Come on. No. You need your medicine. You're not, you're not going to let him do Look, this. I'm Why sorry. don't we step outside for a second? He says this is what's second, best Olivia. for you. Come on. Traitor. I'm in a bit of a situation here. Me too. Philip continues to refuse his treatment. He's going to continue to go downhill. That's not only bad for Philip, but the hospital could be held liable for not giving him proper care, and I could be held liable. What, what do you want me to do? You're his wife. You could override his decision. No, I can't override his debut. Come on. I don't want to fight him this hard, okay? I, every time I look at that face, I just, I want to make him happy. I know this is tough, but if you don't keep Philip on track now, you're opening yourself up for a lot of questions later about how you didn't provide good care for him. You need to protect yourself, Olivia. Well, if he needs his medication, he needs his medication. Nurse? Is Philip okay? Oh, he'll be fine. Uh, are you going back to the house? Yeah, soon. A couple of errands, but yeah. Well, could you make it fast? Because Emma was a little fussy this morning, and I'm worried about her. Well, 
who's paying for the housekeeper, Olivia. But it's coming right out of my dad's account. Well, not for long once I find out what's going on. getting his meds um he's been hiding his pills so christopher's just giving him an injection to make sure it goes right into the bloodstream is that a good thing or a bad thing uh, it's he needs his medication sam you know so it's a good thing yeah. you want him to get better right what kind of question is that an honest one i want him to get better you know i just it, it, he's gonna be back to his old self you know soon enough and He's going to resume his responsibilities. I just want him to do it when he's really able to. In the meantime, you'll muddle through. I'm not muddling, all right? I'm trying to take care of my daughter. I'm trying to protect her, give her a future. Why do you think I got myself on the board at Spalding? You know? I mean, and yes, I want him to get better. Just, you know, when he's good and ready. Besides, he slipped up, okay? He told Lizzie and Beth about Emma. I cannot let that happen again. Yeah, well, I don't think I'll have to worry about Lizzie anymore. I think she's finally figured some things out. What are you talking about? Have you seen her? Yeah, the other day. She's a very mixed up kid, but, you know, I think she really wants to make up for the damage she's caused. I don't care how genuine she seems. I want her to stay far, far away from me. I hope they get here soon. I don't want to be late. Well, I'll get your bath ready. Be right back. Time. Mara, even if I am elected mayor, I'm not going to drop your case. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Can you swing that? I can, I will, and I promise. Thank you, Ross. Yeah. I would hate to have uh, the Lewis family coming after me for anything. I mean, you're a pretty tough group. I'm sure you're finding that out. Yes, sir, I sure am. Yeah. You see, your parents and myself we're working together to try and protect you. Just like the night that you tried to protect your dad. But Mara, we need you to stand up, toughen up, and fight along with us. <clears throat> I will do my best. I feel a little better. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Ross. Um, I'm a little calmer now. Uh, Sandy, you did the right thing bringing your sister over here. Thank you for being so good to her. Sure. I even feel better now, too. <laughs> you know, it's too bad that you'll be leaving this job to be mayor. You're good at this one-on-one -on -one stuff. I guess that's progress. Yeah. Bye. In my dream, I came here because I sensed Mara was in some kind of trouble. But Marianne appeared and... You're not buying any of this, are you? Are we back to this again? Reva, I, I wouldn't even have... I wouldn't be here right now if you hadn't tipped me off to the Vanquo thing. I mean, it's your intuition that got us here. So please stop this. Okay, okay, so... Marianne appeared, and I thought she was going to hurt Mara, but it was just the opposite. She didn't want to hurt Mara. She wanted to help. She, she pointed to this area here. She wanted me to see this. The trap door. Yeah, but it wasn't a trap door. It was a, there was a headstone here. And when I got closer and read the inscription, it wasn't Marianne's grave. It was Carrie's. The date's missing. What? The date on the headstone. Carrie's date of her death is missing. You were right. She can't be dead. Well, okay, so what do we do now? We go to the police and tell them. 
Well, we can't exactly walk into Doris Wolf's office and say that you had a crazy dream and I read a magic book and we know that Carrie's alive. Yeah, but we tell them about the trap and the, and the escape and the tape that Josh and I found. It, I'm not sure it proves anything. Reasonable doubt? Doris will shoot a million holes. Oh, forget Reba. about Doris Wolf. So we'll talk to Frank. He'll listen. Yeah, Frank will listen to us until you start talking about headstones and I start talking about escape artists. We'll lose him too. Oh. Hey, I'm not saying we shouldn't go to the cops. We should definitely go to the cops. But only once we have concrete evidence that Carrie is alive. Okay, so how do you suggest we get that? We have to find Carrie. Any ideas? One, for starters. We can use this. Oh, that's that stuff you used the other day, right? For that it picks up traces of blood? Luminol. Okay. I say we go down to that trap door and we spray this all over the place until we find ourselves some blood drops. Ooh, on CSI. I love it when they do that. <laughs> we just follow the trail. And hopefully it'll lead us to Carrie. You ready? <sighs> I can't believe we even asked you. Yes, yes. Let's go. Let's go. Look at you. Okay, sweet. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> nice job. You know, when you look at that beautiful face, all those hours of excruciating labor just cease to matter, don't they? Speak for yourself. <laughs> now, listen, I know if you had your way, you'd never let that baby out of your arms, but I think there's some people in the waiting room that are dying to get a look at her. If Ed brings her down to the nursery, I'll go get the family to follow. Yeah, here's a plan. Let's do that. Okay, well, only if you promise to bring her back soon, Of okay? course I promise. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay, you're gonna mommy. go with Grandpa, but you're gonna be back soon, okay? Be good, yeah. girl. All right, be careful. I will. I will. Yeah. Bye. Shh, shh, shh. It's okay, sweetheart. It's okay. It's okay. Hey, you wanna meet? You wanna meet your grandfather? You got it. Hello, gorgeous. Too. You're awfully little, even though you're loud. <laughs> Carrying all those expectations. I got a feeling you can handle them. So, baby, you still upset about being called Grandpa? No, I've <laughs> decided I can handle it. Since I happen to be married to the sexiest grandmother on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> Get a room. <laughs> oh. Hi, everybody. Oh, this is nice. Uh, if you'd like to see this beautiful, beautiful baby, you can follow me to the nursery, and Ed's going to bring her oh, down okay. after, okay? Oh, well, let's do it. <laughs> let's go. All right. What, 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 what? Come here. Wow. Not that I'm complaining, but what was that for? Oh, you know, I was just remembering the day Robbie was born and thinking, I don't care if I don't win this election. I have you, I have him, and I'm the luckiest man in the world. I'm so blessed. We both are. I'm just saying, maybe you could give her a chance. I can't believe these words are coming out of your mouth, Sam Spencer. I can't believe, after everything that I've told you about her, that you would be taken in by her. Come on, why do you think I, I was hiding Emma? Why do you think I've been lying about it? Because of Lizzie. Honey, she's sick, all right? And she's dangerous. Liv, I'm not saying she suddenly just overnight became Little Miss Well-Adjusted. She's a mess. We all know that. But I don't think she's the monster you paint her out to be. Oh, At least not anymore. Well, you just wait until she sets you up for a fall down the stairs. I said not anymore, Liv. That was a while ago. Yes, I remember. I was very pregnant. Okay, look, here's the deal. Lizzie wants to meet with you. If you guys could talk to get... I could be there. Look, I told, she told me, I said no, I said no. And, and, and to protect you, if it turns out you're right about her, would you at least think about it? Fine, I'll think about it. Okay. My answer will still be no. Okay. Now you just relax and let that medication do its work. I'll check back in on you later. Yeah. 
Anybody up for some good news? Okay. You're an honorary uncle again. We all just had a baby girl, a beautiful baby girl. That's great. Congratulations. You okay? Yeah. So, listen, you, you got to see my daughter here. Um, so you got to get out of the hospital and, and get better. And, you know, who knows? Um, you know, maybe you'll have a, a child again and our, our kids can grow up and play together. That may happen sooner than you think.